Well, parents are teaching their kids these days about going green, things like recycling and going organic, even growing fruits and veggies at home. All good ideas. So how can we help our own children become green kids? Well, eco-expert Randy Reagan is here. She's going to show us how to get started. Welcome, Randy. Thank you so much. Thanks and you've here. brought some things to show I us. I have. So the basic first thing to do is to keep it simple. Look around your house and the first thing you notice because you have to eat every day, you have to get ready to go to school and work every day, is to help your children learn about ingredients. And you can even dub them ingredient warriors. Cool. That's yeah, by looking at warriors. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun thing to do. And as you know, children love to have their sense of play engaged. Sure. So anytime you make it a challenge, make it fun for them, turn it into a game, they're with you. So you just talk about what's in a package. You talk about package versus fresh in terms of your food. You talk about where ingredients come from, how they're made, how they affect you when you eat them. In terms of personal care products, you read the labels. You can go online to a wonderful spot called the Environmental Working Group. They have hmm. a database, an, a cosmetic safety database, and you can type in ingredients as well as product names, and they'll tell you their safety levels, where they come from, how they're made. So it's a great way to get kids to start learning, investigating, and weighing the cause and effect of a lot of the things that they have in their daily life. I would imagine you can start this with very young children. They wouldn't even have to be able yeah. to read if you're explaining that to Exactly, them. exactly. And then that's also a good reading tool. You can teach them how to learn bigger words and put it all together in ways that make sense. It's also earth science. Everything about going green is just being aware of your world around you and nature, and children love that. I imagine when they run into a word that's this long, it's probably not very <laughs> organic. Exactly, you don't yeah. want to eat it, and you probably don't want to put it on your body, yeah. so it's a good thing to learn. Next we have zero waste lunches, and hmm. this is something everybody can sort of get into right now with back to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plastic bags are a no-no these exactly. days. Exactly. You start thinking about how many things you use that you throw away. Mm -hmm. The average school child in L.A. throws away 67 pounds of trash every year wow. just from their lunches. So any small thing that you can do is a plus. These are some things that I love. These are reusable pouches made from non-toxic plastic that wow. can be washed. We put sandwiches, carrot sticks, apples, even cheese sticks. They've just got Velcro contain, uh, snaps. Mm -hmm. And you put these in your lunch bag. Of course, remind the child bottles. to bring them back home. They have to bring them back <laughs> home because they away. have to be washed. These are different types of containers with plastic lids that are non-toxic plastic, different sizes. We've got bamboo utensils oh. Oh. and too. cloth napkins instead of paper. Mm -hmm. And everything is washable, everything is reusable. And again, you can turn it into a game for your child. Who's the first person, if you've got two kids, who's the first person to make it all the way through the school year without throwing away trash? Or wow. you know, how many days can we go without creating any trash at all? You start eliminating foil, you start eliminating packaged foods, that are already got a lot of trash, yeah. you learn how to buy in bulk, and then you know plan your lunches a little bit better, and it doesn't take that much time. And no more brown paper bag either. This exactly. is very pretty. Exactly. <laughs> My daughter loves this. She's 11, and of course, that's part of the game every year, picking out the, <laughs> picking you know, out the lunch box. Picking it out. The next thing to do is engage in the world around your child. Everybody has a park or a backyard. We started with uh, magnifying glasses and binoculars. Mm -hmm. And these are Peterson field guides for kids. You can look up insects, where they live, what their names are. I'd start identifying things in the world around you. We're lucky here in Southern California. We have beautiful weather. We have beaches, forests, deserts, lots of ecosystems to engage in. But the best place to start is right on your very street, your backyard, your neighborhood park. Get them introduced to looking and observing and watching. This summer, for instance, we watched a pair of nesting hawks oh. give birth and teach wow. their fledglings how to fly and hunt all from our backyard right. and the binoculars. Right, and you said these are specifically for children. For children, Peterson's Field Guides, they've been around forever and ever, yeah. and they're wonderful engagement tools to, you know, your kid feels a little bit like a detective, <laughs> you know, an eco-detective, so they can go out and start learning. And what are we talking about here? Well, these are toys and games without batteries. Oh. 14 billion batteries. Is there such a thing nowadays? Yes, <laughs> there are, if you can believe it. 14 billion batteries go in our landfills every year. 
So this is a great way to kind of start working on that. This, these are projects my daughter has engaged with. This is a paper kit. You take trash paper. Really? You put it through a sieve, mix it with water, turn it into paste, and then... And is this what you end up with? This is what she's wow. ended up with. She's put little lavender buds. I can see the flowers in there. And she's made her own stationery. Oh, wow. She made uh, all her Valentine cards one year oh. the same way. Kids probably have no idea how <laughs> paper is made. It, they don't. I didn't either. I didn't realize it was so, so easy. <laughs> and everything's in the kit? You just yes, have water? Yes, everything's in the kit. And these are online. A lot of companies nowadays are specializing in toys that are eco-friendly. So mm -hmm. it doesn't take but a click of a mouse to find them. Um, this is another really great toy, keeping idle hands busy. If you can pry the electronic gadgets out long enough and put something in that they make. So she's got long car rides wherever we're going. You can either put a, you know, an electronic toy or you can put a craft project. Is this crocheting? Yes, or? this is a basic knitting, knitting. kit. Okay. She's, made, she's in, almost finished with a hat. So this is going to be her new winter hat. Oh. Um, Fantastic. Painting, art kits, anything that gets the kids' hands busy, that gets them making things on their own. At the end of the day, they've got something to show for their work. And that's always a lovely thing. And you've been able to keep the batteries out of the landfills. And finally, you wanted to talk about water as well. Yeah, we live in a very, as you know, very high drought area. And keeping kids aware of their water usage is, is a wonderful way to start them thinking about cause and effect taking shorter showers, challenges I know for teenagers, <laughs> but uh, turning off the water when you brush your teeth, little things like this, and then pretty soon they'll be questioning why you're watering the grass for so long, and where does all the water go that we see running down the street? So it gets them asking questions, and that's the vital part of raising an eco-conscious kid. And Just a responsible child as yes. well. Thank you very okay. much, Randy. You're so welcome. For more information about Randy Reagan, just go to kcal9.com. You can click Scene on TV.